Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. This is TBT here, and today we have something that is not ARK. Yeah, uh, this right here is a game called Fort Ballin, and it, uh, as you can see right there at the bottom right of the screen, it was produced by, uh, uh, well, by a very good friend of mine. That would be, uh, that would be Talia down there. Um, yeah, we, we go way back, and, uh, yeah, so... She and her friend made this game, and um, I, uh, I messaged her the other day. I was like, hey, do you mind if I, if I make content for this? And she went, sure, go for it. So here we are. Um, other reason is that, you know, uh, we're, we're not really going to talk much about ARC. Suffice it to say, uh, Aberration, will, Aberration will continue. It's just that I still need to get all of the mutations done for the final showdown with Rockwell. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what we're here to do. I'll do a community post on that later. It's uh, it's just taken longer than I thought. And uh, yeah, I wanted to check this out. I've actually already played it. I played it the day it came out. But, um, you know, figured I might as well play it again because there's a couple things I didn't really do. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's get in there. So, uh, smart ass me meant to do this at the beginning of the video and I forgot, so here we're doing it now. I meant to let the intro play for you guys, so that you could, uh, like, like, get that, before we actually started, <laughs> started, uh, the gameplay. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let it play now, and also I'm gonna take this time to, you know, like, actually give the proper shout out to, um, to Talia and Daisy, because I think they did a fantastic job. I hope you guys think so too. Please, please go check out this game on Steam if you if you enjoy it. Like, if visual novels are your thing, you won't regret the ten dollars this game is. It's really good. Like, I love the art. I love the music. And um, yeah, I think it's fantastic. So yeah, we're just gonna let the intro play. This is my home, Fort Balin. It's been the stage for some of the continent's worst atrocities at the hands of the current matron, my mother. She carried out an event known by the locals as the Night of Ashen Sand. It was an inquisition, the likes of which our small desert city had never seen. She took forth the members of our order into our city and drove out every last non-Terran within our walls. Anyone with a demonic, celestial, or otherwise unworldly bloodline were forced to leave. Those that refused were not so lucky. You may wonder what caused such a drastic event to occur. That would be me. My name is Vishara Vakrikustos and I am the only heir to Fort Valen. Eleven years ago, when I was seven, I was almost killed by a man who had come to kill my mother. Unfortunately, he found me first and used me as leverage to get to her. I'd rather not elaborate. He couldn't beat my mother that day, and he fled from the fort. She didn't catch him. That was what led to her purge of the city, where she had priorly tolerated the non-Terran presence. I was confined to the walls of the fort, not allowed to enter the surrounding city anymore. Not that it stopped me sneaking out occasionally with the assistance of my friends. Someday, I'm going to leave this place and hunt down the man who did this to me and my people if I can convince my mother to let me leave. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So let's hit a new game. By the way, this is a, a visual novel, so there's not going to be a whole lot of, of gameplay, and by a whole lot of, I mean basically none. It's just going to be me... Me make choices, me do thing. And honestly, that's kind of what I need after the week I've had. Just a nice, relaxing game. Oh, here we go. 
I gotta tell you, I'll tell Say right now, this music is fire and so is the art style. Like, absolute. And, and I admit, yes, I have bias because, you know, like, my friend made this game. But at the same time, it speaks for itself. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss new videos, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff it really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, yeah, mo the only voices you're going to hear are, are my own commentary on this, so... By the way, if you could not tell... Um, this game draws heavy emphasis from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you know, I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but I will just, yeah, it heavily, it is heavily inspired by Dungeons and Dragons, and that's actually where this entity that you see here on the right comes from. Also, he looks dope as hell. I love the, like, the, like, like the ribbon trail and the glow to him. I also like that the main character is missing an arm. <laughs> I always love it when these types of games do this. I'll just say it right now, <laughs> with whatever dignity you have left. Um, <laughs> expressions are gold, too. Oh, goody. Mama Paladin has entered. I don't know how I would react if, if, if my mother had, in effect, you know, I don't it didn't technically commit a genocide, but like committed a mass exile and purge, and she's just in my room casually. I don't know if I could treat that as as normal ever again, I'm gonna be real. But if that's the world that you live in, I'm saying that from my perspective in the 21st century. But this is based off of D&D, &D, which is in turn based off of, like, fantasy medieval. And this kind of thing happened all the time. I also love that she walks in with her sword out, or one of them anyway. I think she has two right there.
Ah, yes. We've met Vishara and Zoe, and now we get to meet... Uh... In my opinion, my, like... My first or second favorite character in the game. Lancelot. Boy, Vishara. <laughs> He's getting to put it down. <laughs> Me when the um, Nintendo DS came out back in the day. Man. Alright, buddy, friend. You literally could have gone with the I licked it, it's mine. You already have one in your mouth. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> I love the perfect way that this relationship is established. go um i didn't do this option i didn't try training so let's try that i think the last time i hit the study button so oh that reminds me when it comes to visual novels i am absolutely a safe scummer so as you can see from my safe files <laughs> cave under pressure. Oh. down to earth but you gotta have a bit more tact than that you can't just you can't just whip out the missing arm card like man you are correct though hubris will get you killed that and splitting the party
Damn. Oh, just that little bit of snark from Vish. A little bit of sass. Personally, if I just got my ass kicked in the in the training ground, I'd probably just go to sleep. But it's not me, so let's go ahead and, as per usual. By the way, I'm not gonna reload the game if I do something that like uh, that like um, ends badly per se. I just want to make that very clear right now. But I will absolutely just like I just it's just habitual. See, all of these by themselves would be a red flag to someone on the outside. But if this is your mother, this is the person that's raised you, you wouldn't think anything of it and you wouldn't want to. It's worth a serious blow. Agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my dude. I love how expressive he is. And look at his eyes. I love how expressive he is. Again, I'll just gush about the art style. Look at this lighting. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's see. Let's count our symptoms so far here. We've got paranoia. We've got emotional distance from your own family. And, uh, at, and a over-reliance on logic to the point of, and yet at the same time, making rash and emotional decisions. There's, I'm getting some, like, early Dutch from Red Dead 2 warning signs from, uh, from Zoe right now. Choose your enemy well, for you shall become them. Off the top of my head, what race Mr. Bib is, but I would assume halfling. See, I haven't seen this stuff yet, because I didn't do this the last time. Also, holy shit. I 
I'm just taking a minute to appreciate the art, but also just like... tough one but I have to go with this <laughs> oh my god. See, I'm glad I chose this particular path because. Oh. <laughs> knows I'm never awake until midday, at least. Well, see, this is why. This is partly why you don't have time for friends, man. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I am saying that if you woke up earlier and got stuff done, you know. some nice crystals up there on the on the shelf dude you should open up a you should open up like a rock and gem shop man Ah, uh, here he is. Another of my favorites in this game, Malachi. Or... Actually, I, I just call him that. I don't know if that's actually how his name is pronounced, but... Unfortunately, I've got Children of the Corn uh, in the brain, so Malachi it is. I love, I love, um, I love, uh, this guy's facial expressions. I keep saying this guy, uh, Vakri or Vakri, I just don't want to butcher the name.
Are you? Oh, you're manhandling the pe the piece of chocolate cake. Oh man. By the way, we aren't gonna finish this in one go. I don't think. Probably gonna take a. Let's see here. Let me check the time. Yeah, probably gonna go for a few more minutes and then call it an episode. Um, th this is a this is a short enough game that I think it'd be fine to just do the, do a couple episodes of this. Um, Vish, that's not even the biggest sin here. The biggest sin then is, is that he's eating a piece of cake with his hand. You fork and knife that. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> I love their relationship. Although my first question, if somebody walked into my room just holding a big slice of cake, be like, where did you get that? Like, <laughs> And at the minute they tell me I'm gone, I'm right out the door to go get some. Oh no. Rip my guy. <laughs> Vakri. Really? <laughs> no, you're dead. I think I think Zoe goes beyond strict. I think uh, she goes into like not even playful, but actually tyrannical. Even if that admit, even if that some of that comes from like a good place of a mother wanting to protect her children, it's still like man. The things people do for love. comments if you want me to read the uh, the blurbs because I just realized I could actually be reading this and doing voices for them but at the same time I'm just like eh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been in this position that he's in right now. You know, I'll just really quick tell the story. One time, I was going to take a piece of pizza, or not a piece of pizza, but like a whole pizza to like a writing class that I used to take. And, you know, I, I did get the pizza and I did take the pizza. Unfortunately, uh, I got real hungry. I ended up eating a couple pieces. Oh, it was so bad. I feel terrible in hindsight, but it was years ago. <laughs> anyway. Dude! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Preach it. Technic 
apparently it wasn't your cake. He he got the slice for you. Oh, oh, look at this man He's playing the orphan card. That doesn't get you out of this. Yo, why are either of you eating cake? Vish's dad, in some ways, kind of looks like... I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean to be that guy, but he kind of looks like me, but with actual facial hair and, like, old. Er. <laughs> I like how they have one positive parental figure in their lives. That's good. Actually, I just noticed. You can see the outline of a physical form, of not like a physical, but like of a humanoid form underneath all the bandages and the wrappers and wrappings and stuff. I did not notice that before. I thought it was just like a cloud with like all the ribbons around it. And in that one sentence, you just get the two sides of the of the damage done to done to Vish here, both from and unintentionally by her mother's actions. I don't know why, but I love the puns involving involving her last name. Cause Where, where's the meme of the guy uh, taking a roll as he goes <laughs> through the list? I don't, I don't think I have a clip for that, unfortunately. Otherwise, it's like I'd play it, but. Oh, there you go, drapes. Hour to get <laughs> tormenting you is my pleasure. 
Love this dialogue. <laughs> Great. The fish is just like, what? What is this? <laughs> I like that Lance, in spite of... Oh, shit. In spite of being adopted, uh, actually looks quite a bit like Vish. Like, he absolutely looks like he could be family, so... Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I should be I should be hauling ass into like a gypsum cave to bring him the biggest, most beautiful crystal I can find as part of a quest. Truck coming. Yeah, I'd like to know what the general populace feel about uh, fish. <laughs> got him. Straight up got him. Nah, nah, you fucked it. GG. <laughs> but to be fair, I was about to say, yeah, I was going to say, to be fair. <laughs> okay, that's more productive than what I was going to say, which is, in other breaking news, water is wet. I love Lance and Malachi, they're great. Holy! Whoa, 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 hold up. Whipped cream at me. The, the bacon doesn't really go. Oh, forget it. I'd probably eat it too. <clears throat> what? Uh <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. This sounds like a good time to save. I'm oh, sorry, I was just making sure I actually unpaused the recording there. <laughs> Muffled bagel sounds. What? My guy! Oh. Oh dear. Well, that killed the mood real quick. See what I mean? Look at the facial expressions now. Like, just that, that genuine worry and concern here. Yikes, dude. Yeah, this part, this part I've seen before, but not, I didn't, the lead up to it was different this time. <clears throat> Actually really well done the way they integrated it. Last time what I did was I did the study route, and that led me here. <laughs> I love this kid. <laughs> you had me, you had me right until that, right until the last part, man. Uh. Literal starry eyed kid, love it. <laughs> Oof. Alrighty, and that is where I think we're going to end it for today's episode. Um, once again, I apologize for the lack of art content, but, you know, uh, it's getting there. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to be doing a little bit of this, and probably going to finish it up, because this is actually a pretty quick game. <clears throat> but once again, if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss new videos. It has been a genuine pleasure. I gotta say, for what it is, I love this game. I don't usually get into pure visual novels, but I love this one. So I'm just gonna save here, and we are going to call it. Alrighty, I'll see you next time.